first episode of The All Woman, I brought you the story of a lady who for 25 years has been living in shame, agony and depression due to a fistula condition she acquired at the tender age of 14 years. We did a follow-up of her story. When I met in Violata, she looked like any other ordinary woman. But beyond the worried look on her face and the loose-fitting, torn but sportlessly clean clothes is a deeper story of agony. In Violata is unable to get a child and has been isolated from her family due to stigma. Whispers from her neighbors regarding her condition has made her keep to herself in their tiny homestead in Nakuru County. The only support that she has is her physically challenged husband. Several months later, I heard that Jamal Hospital in Nairobi helps to treat women with obstetric fistula for free. I immediately arranged for Inviolata to come to Nairobi. <laughs> Our team from Nakuru, led by Masi Kahenda from the Standard newspaper, met her that morning at her home. Inviolata was very excited. The smile on her face was evident that this woman did not slip a wink. She has been dreaming about this day for a very long time. Immediately she gathered her belongings, which comprise of all t-shirts and paper bags. This she uses as temporary diapers to stop the leaking of urine. She says goodbye to her physically challenged husband and promises to return soon. Without her, her husband is immobile. Her husband was equally excited. Maybe after a very long time, he will have a normal relationship with his wife. Vile tulikutana na nyinyi mpaka kufikia kwa wakati wa sasa ni kitu yenye nimekuwa nasubira sana kwa ile kwa ile kwa idi vile mtiari mlikuwa ameniaidi matokeo nini itakapotokea kwa hivyo nimekuwa na hofu sana kuwasubiri na kuanzia wakati huo mpaka saa hizi hata ndio mwili bado ni nasikia maumivu ikiwa nini yanisumbua hivi na kini kwa yale matarajia ambayo kwa wakati wa saa hizi nimefikia ni kitu yenye nimefurahi sana eh, ambayo naona ni kama kweli nini hiyo shida ikiniondokea hiyo ni furaha yangu sana kwa maana mahali penye nimetoka ni mbali sana na hiyo shida itakapotoka as she steps out of her house in Violata shares her future plans with Masi. She cannot wait to live a normal life. Our biggest concern, however, was how she could endure the three hours on the road to Nairobi. Mm. At the bus terminus, our team explains to the officials that Inviolata has a medical condition. They promised to look after her. As she boarded the vehicle from Nakuru to Nairobi, Inviolata was anxious but filled with hope that her life would change after 25 years of agony. Several hours later, I make my way to the bus terminus, anxious to see in Violata. Her story touched my heart from the first day I met her. 
how can one live with such a condition in the 21st century? But what was worrying me more was the thought of her drenched in urine following the long trip. But I was met with a smile from a hopeful woman who despite having licked a lot of urine throughout her journey and soiling the seats of the vehicle, she knew that she was on her way to getting treatment. She tells me that her dress is soiled and today she used five t-shirts and four pairs of underwear to block the urine. We immediately start looking for the nearest public toilet. I pay for the services and get her some polythene bags where she can put her urine drenched clothes and the long wait begins. Five, ten, fifteen minutes later she calls me to give her the dry clothes. She had to wash the soiled ones. The county council attendants were very helpful when I informed them that Inviolata was not well. They assisted her with lots of water. And we wait again. Ten minutes later, she comes out feeling relieved. It is because of this that Inviolata doesn't make many trips away from home. At this point, Dr. Mutiso from Jamal Hospital has called me many times, but I inform him we had a slight delay and will be there soon. Inviolata is anxious and doesn't know what to expect. There are so many questions going through her head. Will this be just another hospital visit after all these years? Will she be able to live a normal life? What are her chances of getting a baby? Will the doctor be able to give her back her dignity? At the Jamal Hospital, we were greeted by Stella Kilonzi, the matron in charge, and Dr. Mutiso. The moment that we have all been waiting for is finally here. Since Inviolata has not gone through formal education, she's assisted by one of the officials at the registry office to submit her details. Ilianza mwaka 91. Mwaka 91 ilikuwa September. Yes. Eh, hapo ndio wakati huo nilikuwa na, niko mjamzito na nilikuwa na miaka 15. Kwa hiyo nilikuwa nimeenda kujifungua kwa hospitali ya Busia. Yes. Eh, sasa kuanzia wakati huo vile nilienda kwa hospitali na huwa niko na ugonjwa ya kifafa pia. Sasa nilipofika kwa hospitali nimetoka na uchungu nyumbani ambayo nilikuwa nime uchungu ilikuwa imenianza kama kitu saa tisa ya usiku huko. Inviolata goes on to narrate her story to the doctor telling him that she was only 15 years when she got pregnant. When she went into labor and was admitted at a hospital, her epileptic condition caused her to lose consciousness and that's when doctors operated on her. When she woke up, she couldn't believe what she saw. Sasa nilipoanguka hapo vile nilipochukuliwa na kupelekwa hata kwenye kuzalishia hiyo mimi si kukuwa na najua. Sasa nene nene kitambo waliponizalisha hiyo yote hiyo muda hiyo nene kwa hiyo kazi yote odi yenye nilikuwa nimewekwa nilikuja nene ilikuwa ni siku ya pili. Sasa nene kama nimelala hapo hivyo kwa muka asubuhi nene kujiangalia nikajiona niko kwa rumu nene kwa rumu moja peke yangu na mzazi wangu ndio nikaona kama ako hapo hivyo ile kitanda yenye nilikuwa nimelalia nikaona imekuwa wet sasa imekuwa wet pamoja hata na damu yote pamoja hivyo sasa kwenda kujitazama vile nilivyo sasa saa hizo nikashindwa nika nikauliza ni nini mbaya ya nini nini imetokezea nini yani na mimi kama damu ime, kitanda imekuwa hivyo na huku nikiangalia naona hawa nini wamenikata huku chini hawakukata kwa tumbo huku chini walikata na vile walivuruta nikaona kama kuna nini wakaniambia hata mtoto kutoka hajatoka kwa njia ya salama kwa sababu sasa wanasema eti hata vile walipoenda kukata walipata huyo mtoto alikuwa ameshakufa tayari eh. sasa ile ile joto ilikuwa imeshamchoma sasa hawa, hata kutoka kwake vile walikuwa wanatoa wanamshika na anakatika sasa zile nyama zake hata na ngozi hazikutoka zote sasa zilikuwa zimebaka ni sababu ndio nilikuwa nasimama naona hata huko nini ni mango zingine zinaninginia hivi e, vitu kama matumbo hizo damu zina zinaninginia huko sasa ni wamekata pamoja na cho hata nikisimama ni cho sasa naona inaanguka sasa kutokea hapo hivyo 
kuuliza ni nini kwa nini wamenifanyia hivyo daktari wakawa anajibu anasema hata si kitu ni tulikuwa tumetarajia utakuwa hai ndio maana tumefanya hivi vitu ni sasa tulikuwa tunajua we ni ushakufa tayari ile hali ni tulikuchukua mahali pale we ulikuwa sasa tayari umeshazimia sasa tunaona ushakufa hata hata kwenye tulikuwa tumekuweka peke yako hiyo ni hali tu yenye watu tulikuwa tunasubiri pengine ndio ikawa sasa kama unaenda kabisa watu wako wakuchukue na kama ni tayari kufikia sasa kama nini umehifadhiwa ungali uko hai basi shukuru hata hiyo nini kama umetoka kwa kifo hiyo nini kwa kukatwa hivyo hiyo haitashindikana hata kwa kuponya uzima yako kama ungali uko nayo shukuru Mwenyezi Mungu amekupona Thank you.